This is K-A-Y-L-A-N, better known as Professor Stagan Ascending Tales. And my angels and I are as one human being. I know this beyond the sight you are see. We're doing very good, my miracles, my wonderful angels. And remember to have healthy eating, appropriate speech, appropriate behavior, appropriate clothing, appropriate spacing, and know the science and anatomy of all things. Also remember to have the goals of the body, the household, and the outside responsibilities. And today we're making outfits for little bravery. So you can get these blankets at the store for three to five dollars, and you can utilize that for fabric on making their outfits. So do you want to learn how to make outfits for them? Yes, look at this face. This face says, please make sure I have clothes. Bless your little heart. Very good. And she loves to wear her big girl vest to show her very best. And that big girl vest is on your chest. Cause that heart just never stops. And when you want to succeed, you got to make it to the top. Very good. Okay, now sit on your bed, bravery. Come on your bed. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Stay. And you get a good girl treat afterwards. Okay, now, what we're going to be doing is, actually, Bravery, come here. No, sit down. Shake hands. Nice to meet you. Very good. Now sit down. Shake hands. Do not stand up yet. Okay, now stand up. Stand up. Good girl. Say your prayers. Good girl. Okay, now, princess, sit down, good girl, okay, now bravery, spin around, spin around, good girl, and now what we will be doing is doing their measurements, you can utilize the measuring tape, this is something that can help when measuring them. If you do not have a measuring tape, you could just go by eye or by measurement, like measure from something, at least your hand or whatever you can measure by. So you want to start by their t by the where their tailbone is. And you want to do from their neck to their tailbone. She's growing, she's getting taller. So the measurements measure at about 20, and you have to fold that with, it, with her back, 26, or two, two feet and two inches, so two foot two. And now we will measure her belly from the stop point of her leg on her belly. So 2.2 there, and then 1.5 here. So 2.2 and then 1.5. Now measure around her side. Two point two, one point five, and 1.5.5. 2.2. We'll raise this down. So length is two foot two inches. And on the back. Then length on the belly, 1.5. So this is for what we call a gown. And now we have the width as 1.5.5. Okay, so now we did the measurements. Half of 14 is seven. So the seven was in the middle because we knew that that was one foot, two inches, 14 inches. 
all together. And so half of that is the middle where seven is. So we knew that this was the half of this. So we needed five inches from her neck to where her arms were going to be. So we measured from the neck point to where her arms were going to be and we drew a line so that we know where that is. Half of seven, a seven and seven is 14 and that's the entire width. So we knew that if her arm started four inches apart on each side in the middle, and then we would do this here, measure four, and then mark those two places up there. Afterwards, we're going to mark four places here. And so we know where her arm ends and where her arm will start. Very good. And so now we will measure the four, but for the length, I we may do 4.5. And so let's go ahead and mark that 4.5 mark. So we know that all we have to do is cut this square here. Okay, and if you want to make arms, you have to make that approximation for the arms as well. Very good. So we do 4.4 here. Then for the width, that would be 4.5. So measure. And that is a little above the 4.5 mark. That's why this one seems. So this is more for 4.5 here. So we need to say. Just for the length. Excellent. Very good. Okay, and now we got our measurements here. That is a very good way to make outfits for puppies. So what we will do now is we will cut the hole before sewing. Great diligence. So we'll put the scissors into there and cut that. Great diligence. This is such a genius way. Expecting lots of likes. Likes really make a difference because that helps to go into the algorithm. So if you give that a like, then that could be promoted more and that would be greatly appreciated. Now we cut the approximation of that arm. Now we will cut the other arm. Very good. And if you all want to know the dog anatomy, there is free printout product pages on the Sing Along Songs. And you can subscribe to the YouTube channel, Professor Cygnus, spelled C-Y-G-N-U-S, and get those free product printout pages and share that video with all of your friends really needing 1 million views. This is also the same for cats or any other animal as well. So this is how to make clothes for dogs, cats, even horses if you got a bigger, big enough uh, piece there. Okay, so we cut the measurements of her arms. All we have to do now is sew the side of this, and that is it. So let's go get the sewing kit. Here we go. We cut the string. And now we turn this around and we put the string through the sewing pin. Very good. After that, we grab the string and pull that. Now you can double string this. You do not tie the string to the sewing pin. You tie the string to the fabric. So what we will do is we will start the sewing. Did not mean to do the neck like this, you all. It was meaning to actually, and this could be both ways. 
was meaning to cut this at an angle like this and then ended up just cutting one side. So we will tie this a little bit from the edge piece. We'll put this from one side to the other and just about when this is about ready to stuff what we will do is pull this through so what we can do in order to double string this is we could just use the same string and tie both ends together and that could actually strengthen the so there is double string on that. Let me grab it, cross it, tuck it under, grab it, pull it. Let me grab it, cross it, tuck it under, grab it, pull it. So now that we have tied this at the top, Clear our area space so we can be clean again. And then the tip that was not sewn yet, we will start onto that. So what we do is we put the sewing pin from one side to the other. So we will tie this. This is how the strategy goes for what was learned. Now I learned sewing when I was in the children's academies when I was little, and that really did, really did make a difference because this is something you want to learn at every point in time in your life. And you never know when it could really help. If you get a hole in your pants or anything else, you want to know how to patch that, that hole up. So what we will do is we'll pull this through. And do you see that little loop that's available there? We're going to tuck that into the loop and pull. And that's going to tie that string every time and make that really strong and compact. And connect one piece to the other and that's a strategy that we learned on our own but the other strategies are like this you can go from one side of the string from one side of the fabric pull that through and the same side of that fabric instead of doing that at the top the same side of that fabric beside of that you can go on one side and the other so that is a different strategy. So where the string is, we'll push that through. And there is different strategies of sewing. Let's see, it would look like this every time. See that little piece? But that's one strategy. The other is the loop strategy. So what we learned when we was little is just... Now the other strategies is what I learned from the academies when I was little. But the strategy that I learned on my own was when you can just tie that together by doing the loop strategy, but before that loop is tied, to tuck that sewing pin into the loop and pull that through. And as you can see, it connects one piece to the other, making that a lot stronger as well. Very good. Put that from one side to the other. Very good. And we will put this on her after getting done. Putting this on one side and the other. Now the double string is really good for like if you need this to be strong. You can do that single stringed, but it's not going to be as strong. And with bravery, she definitely needs a strong fabric the way that she does things. Bring this from one side to the other. We will tie that to the fabric. From the start point, pull that through. Here is the string before ending that string. Keep those two together. You can do this single stringed by by making sure one one part of the string is longer than the other, but since we want this stronger, we want to double string this. 
We can even add more strings onto the same string, but you'd have to make sure the string is the same size. So we'll grab it, cross it. All those bad things. Toss it, tuck it under, grab it, pull it. Grab it, cross it, tuck it under, grab it, pull it. Grab it, cross it, tuck it under, grab it, pull it. And now what we will do is sew all the way down one piece at a time. We want to make sure that this is approximate measurements as well. Because if you have that too far out from each other, they will start flapping. And you do not want those flaps. But we love how we sew because this connects one to the other unlike the other ways of sewing. Very good. And we'll put those from one side to the other. Very good. Because we're here for each other. As we reap what we sow. So many things in life that we need to know. As every strand of string is representing every decision that we are making in the fabric of life. So on one strand of string at a time, every string is interwoven, everything is coaligned. In life's fabric, as we reap what we sow, and remember the song album is on the channel if you want to listen to the song album and give the videos a like and make sure to comment because that helps the algorithm. If you like and comment, that will promote the video more. And so definitely needing that size approximating where the piece is going to go. And as you can see, there's no flapping. Sit. Good girl. Sit down. No. Sit. Stay. You will get your tree afterwards. It's time for you to get your new outfit. First you put the outfit through your head first. Then you put your outfit, put your hands through your sleeves. And look, that fits her so well. Very good. Excellent. One foot on the neck, four inches from the neck to the middle of her chest, and it's 3.8 inches apart. And now, look at this. Now that is very nice and so very good. Now it is time to, yay, a new outfit. That is so exciting. And here you gotta get a brush bath as well. You look comfortable. And here you gotta get a brush bath.
She shakes that force of resistance off. Yes, indeed. Okay, so we're looking for the brush. Where is the brush? Hmm. Let's see what kind that is. Lower down, grab and go this what pad. You need to eat more. She needs to drink a lot of water. Her urine was too dark. You never want your urine too dark because that means that your lack of hydration. You do not want your urine too light either. So just the correct colors. And when it comes to the urine, you want to always check the colors of the urine as well as the stool. So you can determine stool colors, if that is too light, if that is too dark, never ignore that. If that's too dark, you need more enzymes and aesthetics. So always check that your stool and the colors of your stool and the colors of your urine as well. Okay, are you ready for your new outfit? Yay! Yes, she is. Come here, good girl. Yay. Hey, you need to calm down and get yourself together. Princess, come here. Come here, good girl. processing. You have to recognize everything in the image. Lots of data here. So we also have to turn this outside out. See afterwards. Very good. Now we will grab her hand and put her hand through. The more that we can recognize everything in the image is the more that we can process at a given point. Very good. And that looks so nice on you. Look at your new outfit. Yay. I got to make a bunch of these outfits for you. Does your outfit make you feel better? Yes, but that looks good. Go look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror. You look so nice. Very good. And these were blankets that we turned into outfits for them. Now we will get started on this 
outfit. We will be sewing the outfit. Now we will be getting the fabric. You see we have a sewing kit here. Take a look. We have a sewing kit here. We have our cup here. This is the cup. This is the sewing kit. This is the fabric. So we have the scissors here. And these are the scissors that she chewed up. It was so dangerous some of these. Definitely have to keep so many things away from her. So we have the fabric here. We have the measuring tape here. Here are the measurements of everything. And here is the sewing string. So now what we will do is we will prepare the fabric. We will measure one foot. Your neck is one foot, 12 inches. Since this says 10 inches in, we need 10 to cut off the front of this, which will be here. So we do not want to cut too much out of this, so we will go on. folded into here. It's wrapped up. So that's why it's been folded. It's folded. It's wrapping up like a circle. And that was approximately one foot and very good. So now we will measure four inches from the starting point. Your neck. attention. Good morning and pay attention. You got to accurately measure. Get these to see. So this pen marks ink on things like this much. Do you see this? Look at that go on the paper. What's moving here? It's making the noise. Look where the noise is. Do you see how that makes a mark on the page? You possibly want to tell. There's ink in here. It's a, it's a type of a fluid that is heavy fluid that can write on paper, but if it's put on the inside of this, yeah, this is a pen similar, but with a different design. On the inside of the pen is an ink cartridge where the ink is held. And there's a tiny little ball. You gotta look really closely. You can see there's a tiny little ball on the inside that spins so that that can write on the paper. This is called a ball pin point. Very good. You always want to know how things work. If you do not know how things work, you, you do not understand things. So you have to understand by knowing how. You always have to ask a question. How does that happen? Very good. Who, what, when, where, why, how, can, is, qua, qua question to learn the lesson you should always question so now we will measure from the point to the bottom 